Hello, I'm Munir Hock and welcome to my Android app development tutorial. Today our topic is Live Data Map Transformation. Live Data Map Transformation is a method to manipulate live data inside view model to make it easily accessible from our views or XML layout. So opening our project and we see uh, the current time and that current time we haven't um, uh, we haven't used data binding on current time earlier in this uh, on the previous tutorial we did this for a good reason because uh, the date utils uh, format elapsed time and this is no more a um, string it is a long time and we will not bother any confirm any calculation or conversion of data inside our views or xml layout so this conversion should take uh, a um, take another places so yeah our view model will in our view model we will uh, convert our live data uh, using the live data map transformation so let's see what live data map transformation actually is live data is all about creating one live data from another live data in our case say live data a is observing the time change now we will perform a converting function to convert the value of time from long to string this conversion takes place with help of con uh, help of transformation map and then our new live data say live data b will observe the time our fragment puzzle will get time data from live data B rather than live data A. So live data map transformation is all about converting one form of live data to another form of live data. So let's go to our code. We are inside puzzle view model and we will create a new uh, live data new live data object. So it will be current we name it current time string and the current time string will be the converted um, live data of current time so it will here we will write transformations dot map and this map object takes two uh, parameters one is the uh, actual live data so it will be current time and it will uh, take another uh, lambda function the lambda function will be the operation we want to do on the current time or the, the conversion or manipulation we want to do the current time so we will simply copy paste from the we because we want to use the date utils so just copy and paste here and this it is long so it is uh, converting um, string uh, converting long to string so this is basically the current time is uh, if we compare with our picture the current time is uh, the current time live data is um, live data a and here is the transformation the transformation is converting data from long to string this is the transform live data map transformation and now the current time string will be the uh, live data b so now one thing is left left that uh, we will uh, contact our fragment puzzle with the live data b we will directly use the uh, use the data binding here so we go back to our uh, fragment puzzle Make it a little big and here we will write a date of and it will be puzzle model the puzzle model is the binding uh, variable here and puzzle model dot our newly created uh, current time string so this is enough and we go to our fragment and we do not need this line anymore because we are using the data binding so delete it and run our app so we test our app 
and when I press play we can see our uh, countdown timer is working fine we are using uh, and actually our li live data map transmission works we are using as we are using um, live data map transformation and the data binding here so this is all about our tutorial and here we have learned a uh, basic structure of how to use uh, live data map transformation uh, to manipulate uh, data from uh, one form of live data to another form of live data so if you like the video please press the like button and uh, please subscribe if you if you not subscribed yet and uh, i will really appreciate if you have any question and or any suggestion please write it down in uh, comments so i so can i can know what you are thinking and i can answer your questions and signing off today good night